In the previous video, we talked about how to work with the Windows application. We used the example of Centris data solution and I shown you how to open and close that. Now in this video, I will show you how to log in into this application. We have to again open this application modeler because without using this application modeler, we cannot design our application model. So let me first open that one so that I can design that model because if we we'll open this explicitly then we cannot design this we have to open this from the object studio itself or you have to launch from here if we will not open from here if we will close this no problem you can launch from here and then you can design your application model now here we need to write staff number and password and we need to click on login so these are the three steps we need to follow to log into this application so this is the top level element now we need to create three child element and this three child element is for staff number text box password text box and login so this is the element one that is already by default created so i'm going to use the same so I'm going to take the name that is for staff but before that what we can do we can segregate this we can you know put the specific name I can tell you that uh, let me take one element so here let me put the name that is for you know login okay login window and then inside this we can take multiple child elements so just click on identify and once you click on identify you can see here there is a box that is showing using the identification tool windows 32 so this is once you will click on identify blue prism gives you option to find out that element and click on that so that blue prism can you know capture the attributes of that capture the element attribute so our element is first this is staff number text box and password and then login so once you will move your cursor it will show you the element the specific element that blue prism can identify so using this windows 32 mode as we are using windows application so by default it will give you windows 32 mode if you want to change that you have to press alt and alt once you will change that one now you can see the spy mode is that is ui automation mode and also you can see here it is also gi giving option to choose that if you we'll press alt again now we have accessibility mode that is aa mode active accessibility if you know ui path then you know about these things you can see we can also capture here we have region mode we can again capture that there is no is issue with this application but I will suggest if you are using this Windows application, so you can go with the Windows 32 spy mode. So I will go with this. Now, if I want to take the attribute of this staff number text box, I need to use control and then left mouse click. And if you want to cancel that one, you have to use control right click. And now you can see here, this has been canceled. So this is our main, so this is the login window. So I'm going to click on identify so that I can take the complete window for the, for the use. So I will take this control and then I will click left. And now you can see here, we have the attributes available here for this login window, this login window. So whatever attributes we have as specific for this one, you will see here. Now just maximize this and just click on this value so that we can find out all this value where we don't have the value against this attributes name we have multiple attributes available for this element and here you can see by default there are four to five attributes name that is by default checked 
and it shows that your application is windows form so this is correct yeah your windows application is visible your screen is visible enabled true windows text is centrix data solutions please login so it means this blue prism will identify your application based on this attributes so yes here we have centrix data solution login so this is the windows text it means your windows application title okay so based on this attribute your blue prism bot will find this application and then it will start working on that if if we'll put something different here it will not able to identify so as we can see this is the correct by default whatever blue prism has selected that is correct if you want to make sure this is correct or not you can click on highlight and if your application is highlighted with the red lines then you can see yeah this is correct you also need to change in your attributes but i will show you when we will start with the uh, text box and click buttons this is the main now apply this now i'm going to show you how to create child for this login window now in the login window we have three childs this text box this text box and click button so i will just click on this login click on child and again click on login click on child now in this login window we have three elements what are those three elements 1 2 and 3 so this element 2 i will give the name that is staff number text box okay i can put like this now this is for uh password text box so i'll put here password text box and now the third is i can just first rename this elements so this is for login button login i can say this is login button so that we can identify and we can use this elements now here in the staff number so as you know that we are creating the application model and in the application model first we have to click on identify and we have to indicate there on the specific element so this is for the staff number text box so we'll click on identify and we'll tell blue prism that this is our element for the staff number text box so we'll just press control and then left click and here you can see by default these attributes checked by blue prism but also you can see there are something that is you know blank so we can uncheck this because that can throw an error if you'll check this so your blue prism bot will try to find out the text box where windows you know text is blank so just uncheck this now we need to find out which can identify the our you know this specific staff number if we'll highlight this you can see currently it is highlighting both it means we have to create a unique attribute a unique match so that blue prism can directly go and click or type on a specific element so i need to find out any specific thing so that it can go and just select a specific that one okay so here you can see we have this type name system.windows.forms.text box this one we can take for the time being but again we have it is showing that we have two text box now we have one option that is x y x y ordinals and highlight this and now you can see it is giving us a staff number now go to the password click on identify and again click the cursor with control and then control left click okay and you can see here now this is for the password text box click on value uncheck this and now we here we have four we can take this text box again highlight this currently it is giving us two but we have x and y now highlight this and you can see now it is giving us only password 
Now what will happen if I will change that and let us try it is able to highlight that or not. Highlight this again and you can see this is correct. It means we can go with the x and y here. Now highlight this again and you can see it will work fine. Now we have login button. So again we will click on identify and move the cursor on the login press control and then left click and you can see now here we have all the matches attributes and you can find out. So, name should be login. So, just first find out this windows text that is login. We have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 attributes values and ok. So, I think this is correct it will highlight the login button ok. Now, click apply and click ok. So, we will take here right click and click new and now you can see here we want to log in into that application. So, login is our one action. So, we will take here login click ok. Now, to log into this application we have to type here staff number and type here password and click here. So, to write something in the text box we need to use write stage. So, write stage is used to write value to the element to the text box. Double click on that and put here type staff number and now to type staff number we need to take this staff number text box from the right side we have this elements. So, this is for the login element take this one and drag and drop and leave this to the element section here and you can see this is showing type is text type and then here in the value in the double quotation we can pass BP. Currently, I am showing you the default value, but after that you can use I will also show you how to take value from variable it means data item and then show you. Now, press ok and this write stage we can use to write. We can also if we have if, if we need to write to the text boxes we can create we can add here multiple actions we can add or you can take one more, but if I need to work on the same window same here I can take the same write stage. So, I will take password and drag and drop this now we need to write password here. So, I will put here password and our password is P A double S W O R D. So, this is our password for this application B P is the staff number and password is the password for this one. Now, click ok. So, after putting staff number and password I need to click on that. I need to click on this login. So, how can we click on login? You know that if you want to work on navigational action it means click then you have to use navigate stage. Double click on that. Now, in the navigate we can log into that. Put here click on login button and here we have to take this login button element and then select the action. We have multiple click option click window click window center we do not want to click on window we want to click on this button. So, we have global mouse click center global mouse click it can click anywhere, but we want to click on this login button in the center here. So, we will just take here global mouse click center so, we have mouse button uh, let me press ok without putting any value without specifying any mouse button click ok and just resize this and link this here reset this and I can directly run this I can test this one login page login action because 
this application has already been attached with this this object studio because here we are getting detach detach means this application has already been attached with this application if you will detach this and you can see now it is asking it is saying that launch this application and now if you will try to run this one then you will get one error you can see you can see here this is not connected it means you will not able to perform this one why because this is not attached with your application so close this reset this launch this from here and then for the testing purpose you can launch and now you can see this is showing detach and now you can test this one run this and you can see here okay so we are able to launch this application and we are able to log in into this one let me uh, just exit from here now publish this because without publishing it will not be visible to the process studio publish this save this login page created now go to the studio refresh this now once we refresh this and after you know after launching this application we can take one more action and then take here object studio as a centrix and take here login now press ok link this now here you can see we have three action one for the launch login and then and at the end close that so you can close this one refresh this one and run this one so you will see it has opened that but we got one error we will fix this issue in the next video